really close to the mic so we can hear you. Well, on my immediate right is one of our co-stars, uh, Bradenton born and raised, uh, Danielle White. Danielle has got an incredible future ahead of her, and she's got quite a busy one in the past. She was, yeah. uh, she was a winner of the uh, uh, American Idol Juniors competition the Woo! one year they had it, nice. when she was just a, a young child. And uh, so we're very excited that uh, Danielle's here. When you guys hear, I think we brought a clip along of one of the songs that will premiere. Yeah, awesome. Uh, her and... Uh, her other one of her other co-stars, Jay White, who was the world's number one Neil Diamond performer. Jay's I know I read that. Yes. Twenty years doing that. When Looks you hear this like song, him. I defy you to, to tell me whether well, it's, it's, it's almost you'll you'll think Neil <laughs> walked into uh, Top Secret Studios here on Seventeenth Street and, and laid down some vocals with Danielle. It's quite I love Neil it's quite Diamond. special. But uh, I love him, it's but... not about in the movie, by the way. The title Beautiful Noise is I'm a diamond head. You know, we got parrot heads with Jimmy, and I dig Jimmy Buffett too, like most people do. But I uh, grew up uh, with a, a Neil Diamond type vibe, and uh, so we, we, you know, we're borrowing his title of a famous album of his from '76 called "Beautiful Noise." But That's with the a... exception of that, mm, Jay White and kind of having a Neil Diamond thing going on, and then we got right. Neil's percussionist conga player extraordinaire King Harrison is going to be with us in the movie, and. Uh, but you know, don't don't think that this got anything to do with Neil. Oh, right? that's okay. <laughs> but it truly doesn't. Uh, but it, but the inspiration was there. We have other fantastic artists along with Kimber and Jay, or excuse me, Danielle and Jay, and the one I just slipped out there is Kimber Cleveland, uh, based in Nashville. But she's a pop rock uh, superstar in the making. God knows why she hasn't broken through yet. But we hope that this, and we feel very strongly that her songwriting and performance skills, and soon to be seen acting skills will launch this long overdue uh, personality and, and just a great star. And there's a, there's a lot of people. If you go to the website, beautifulnoisethemovie.com, you'll be able to see all the people in the primary cast and uh, you'll get a feel for what, you know, how, you know, why we're so excited about this, this film. Uh, next to Danielle is Roger Hughes, one of our co-producers uh, from Top Secret Studios. I'm sure he's got some stories to tell about not only the soundtrack, but, uh, the kind of people that uh, he's been recording, along with his partner Mo, awesome. uh, in that studio. Oh, right. whenever, swing it on yeah. around, swing it all around. Let's go, Danielle. Yeah, Danielle, please go for it. Hey, hey, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank Welcome you. Welcome to the show. Much. I mean, just just your history uh, alone, we could do a whole show. I mean, it's no, oh, let us. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, please keep Wait. talking about me. Please, please. We don't even need to talk. <laughs> you have the forum. So, I mean, the journey had to have been incredible. I mean, oh, it yeah. still is. Oh, uh, yeah. Very exciting. I mean, I feel like um, I've, like Steve said earlier, I feel very privileged to have been given kind of the path that I'm on now. And, uh, Having had the experience that I've had in the past, all of it, every bit has led up, me up to where I am today. So, yeah, I feel very, very privileged to have been not only a part of that as it was, but then also the fact that it's kind of continued to um, lead me down. Oh, exactly. It's like, keeping you local, too. Yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah. It's it's been a good good time. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. It's And it's – I, I – Sorry, I <laughs> I talk out of my rear a lot and just and just totally have mine mine emptiness. I can't say what happens real on word. Sundays. Yes, that's what happens on Sundays. You're allowed. Um, but I sort of refer it to as when we went from BC to AD with your career, like you said, everything line everything happened for you to get here. Yeah, isn't it really cool to look back at all the little bits and pieces and be like, oh, that's how that kind of oh, completely. We were actually Jay and I the who he was just talking about um jay and i were talking the other day in a rehearsal about uh, kind of destiny and this whole like idea that that you know the butterfly effect of things just kind of um colliding and then eventually leading you to where you are and so it's um yeah my experience on american juniors and everything in between that point and now has just been kind of a an exciting whirlwind. So, and that was what ever since you were what that twelve was, years I was old, eleven, yeah, eleven. Yep. Wow, so, that's yeah. nuts. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Could barely even ride my bike on the road. <laughs> <years old. laughs> Man, yeah, I, I I missed the uh, the American Idol thing. I think the first year it came out, it was uh, uh, thirty. No, what was I think thirty was the cutoff, and uh, I was uh, thirty one. And um, then as soon as I became 32, they pushed it to 31. So I missed it two years in a row. <laughs> you put it in 
I yeah, think I know. they were trying to accomplish with that. I don't know. I don't know. No. It's it. I don't know. Maybe they knew I wanted to do it. <laughs> yeah, it was me. It's all <laughs> erupting like a galactic volcano. <laughs> but so obviously you're totally jazzed. I mean, you guys start filming tomorrow. Oh right? yeah. 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 I'm very, very excited. It's, um, especially with it all coming together. I mean, this has been, this process has been kind of a long one. And I mean, from the beginning we've had, it's interesting to see how it's come together. And I remember the first time I met with Steve right on main street and like down there and we were just talking and kind of tossing ideas around the script's gone through several changes. The, the music has gone through several changes and then, different people have been introduced and it's just been a great a great experience in general now was I mean, this something that where steve came to you you came to him i mean how did this all come about the meeting um i don't remember i it hasn't been that long i'm like oh geez god um <laughs> no i just <laughs> her people <laughs> called my people yeah. wow yeah, she know. has people <laughs> no i think i actually did i think i got in con did i somebody from somebody from booker oh, that's right. uh, heard that's about right. the audition Mm -hmm. And uh, she, we had an audition for her key role, and uh, uh, but I met her before the audition because I saw uh, her American Idol stuff when she was, you know, 11 years old, and she knocked me out then. So to say she had one foot in the door when we first met would be an understatement. But uh, she's proven to be, you know, more more than we thought we were getting our hand. I, I can tell you that the character is, is a bit of a mystical young lady in the film and a bohemian to boot. So uh, the combination, uh, well, you're is sitting right in front of you right now. So it turned out to be perfect casting, even though it was more of a gut feeling for me, not based on anything I really, really knew until now. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's <laughs> how exciting! Yeah, I know. Right? I know. It's just, you're just you're starstruck. You're just kind of like, hmm. <laughs> no, go ahead, talk. Really, just go ahead, talk. Really, it's like, what questions do you ask? <laughs> what questions don't I ask? I mean, really. Um, and and local, I mean, and so you went to Booker. Yeah, I actually I just graduated from Booker High. I was at the um, in the Visual Performing Arts program. They They're have an awesome, phenomenal. Program. I am so so blessed to have been a part of that program. And um, yeah, I was in the theater program there. And yeah, I've I haven't lived here my entire life, but um, I have lived here for a good portion of it. So like most of us. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I, I would consider myself 100% a hometown Bradenton. More recently, Sarasota, just because of Booker, and I spend so much time here now. But right. I'm, well, not really anymore because I live in California. But what part of California? Part? Uh, Santa Monica. Uh, I was I lived in Huntington Beach. That's where oh, I grew up mostly. Nice. Yeah, beautiful. Very, oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Totally awesome. Uh, I, I went to high school here uh, at Lemon Bay High School. Oh, cool. And I was in the theater department there all all four years and whenever we went to competitions it was always awesome to see the stuff that came out of booker i yeah. mean we had our fun and we were and i'm not toting just because that was our that was our high school or whatever but we had a really good program we had a lot of fun and did a lot of good stuff but booker always just shined out and uh that's cool that's yeah so i neat feel to so i see feel it come around yeah i feel so so lucky to have met not only and see booker was a strange experience not only in that it was the teachers were phenomenal and and the connections that we made there with them we had such a, an unusual relationship teacher student not um <laughs> don't get any ideas no, uh, like, no. We had, that's what i felt like i was implying and i didn't make that movie you see that <laughs> You catch yourself you know, nowadays. I do. You're, you're, I know. This, yeah. I have to be so careful. It's like I'm, I'm gonna. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I know everyone's gonna call me afterward and be like, "Now listen." Um, <laughs> but no. Uh, we, <laughs> no, but we had, we had, I had made connections with those teachers that I think I will never. Some of them that I'll, I'll never, not only forget them. That's out of the question. But um, but lose contact. I mean, I just, I feel so indebted, and I, I. And then, but then on top of that, just my peers. There's some really, really interesting um, people that I've met at Booker that have really changed my so perspective. You've always as a had a great and, push, then, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just, I don't know. I, I feel privileged and I feel lucky to have. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's awesome. It's it's awesome to have you here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We will definitely come back around to you. Okay. Why can't we have a two-hour show today? 